morning everybody today's monday july 25th and ed's got another lesson for you good morning oh, we're down here and a couple of the strips of the corn just below the freestall as you'll notice you look up in here the corn's going up and down right behind carol and it's going just the opposite back and forth uh, that would be east to west and the first one you looked at was north to south I planted this section over here to my left first and it was this other one in the right I decided to plow up after I took hay off from it it needs to be rotated a little so when you plant a cornfield you saw we went around them and years ago before the new choppers with uh, I think they call them Kemper heads where the machine that cuts the corn is right in front of the guy sitting there uh, you use what we still have an old pole type chopper and so you always cut roads in between you plant right out to the edge of the fields you'd never leave any places in the middle and so you'd go out early in the uh, uh, fall or even start in the summertime like I have now and you go out and you cut roads through what you do cutting corn you use corn knives these are three from when I was a kid oh you can see this is probably the newest one that had a serrated blade stayed sharper you didn't have to sharpen it these other ones we used to get a take a file with us hitting stones and we'd file them up every day and then you could use a just a plain old machete this one actually I pretty sure is handmade oh I'm not sure exactly what the blade was but just sat down put an edge on it and that actually works pretty good does the job on your ankles and knees though and these are older different style knives to show you core knife usually is somewhat like a 90 degree angle a lot of these used for different grasses and tobaccos and that there's all kinds of knives they have where you can use these to cut corn but they're not quite as easy to work with. I'll show you in a second. And the newest one that we bought, well, I say new, it's probably 25 years old now. They made them so you could take the blade and push it in and carry it a lot, a lot easier. Not cut yourself. These, you stick this in your pocket and the first thing you're doing is knocking it out. These actually you can stick right in your pocket. And this also is a serrated blade, the newer ones, and they stay sharper without having to sharpen them as much. And one thing with cutting corn, you want to make sure if you're just starting out, put some shin guards on. But, of course, the ears aren't on the ear. It would be somewhere in this area. They aren't on yet. They will be shortly. But I was taught you always grab right above the ear, take, and you just cut it. And try it. You try not to cut it on an angle. I get lazy and I cut them because they will get hard and they'll go right through tires. If you just bend over a little, put it that way, keep grabbing, and after you get a while, you just put your arm around them and pack them all down. And my father always told me the reason that these were like the L like this is when you got a big armful of corn. They would take them and that's how they'd carry them. They'd put that underneath there, take it up to whatever wagon they were throwing it on, throw it on and run back to the farm and away they'd go into the insulate cutter and cut it all up. We'll see you again tomorrow when we take a load up and we'll dump it off and show you how happy the cows are to play with it. Till then, have a good one.